In this question, we'll find the arc length using definite integrals. Before we begin with that, let's recall some of the derivative formulas. If it's any constant term, it becomes zero. Power rule says the power comes down as the coefficient and subtracted by one. If it is x power four, it'll be four x power three. And these are trigonometric functions, sine is cosine. Now, what happens to cosine? It'll be minus cosine, minus sine, sorry. So how I remember is when you derive it, anything with C, the co, co function, that is cosine, cotangent, cosecant, will have a negative sign with it, with, with its answers. Whereas the other one, secant, sine, and tangent, do not have a minus sign. So th these are the formulas. It's very important for you to remember them. And lastly, some of for the exponentials, it's just E of X, whereas if it's a constant term, to the raised to the power, then it is ax natural logarithm a with whatever is the base is written again over here. And uh, natural logarithm x is 1 by x. And these are the inverse trig functions. I hope you remember these. So whenever it is cosine, cosecant, or cotangent, the same thing, uh, like sine, cosine is same, but the minus sign happens when the, whenever there's co. So you can see here, secant and cosecant, literally they are the same thing. But what's the difference? The sine, minus sine. Same thing with tangent and cotangent, the sine. Now, you can easily remember it. Whenever it's 1 by 1 plus x squared, it's tan inverse. And then it'll be cotan inverse as well. Sine inverse is square root 1 minus x squared. But with the secant, it is x squared minus 1 and there is one more x. These are the inverse trig functions and arc length formula is given as the square root of 1 plus derivative of the given function square dx and the limit is from a to b. Let's solve a problem. Here the limits are usually always given. You just have to write the formula because you can't directly put them in the calculator. You need to find the derivative, isn't it? So let's write the formula a to b that will be 0 to pi by 4 square root 1 plus, what's the derivative of the function given to us? It's secant square x. The whole square, now it's two times. Why? Because the derivation of tan is already secant squared, and then the whole square x, dx. dx is not required because it'll already be there when you put the integral in your calculator. So let's use our calculator now. You have to press this integral, square root 1, it's 1 plus Use the bracket here because we're using secant squared the whole square. You don't have the option for secant squared. You know secant squared is equal to 1 by cosine. So what we do is 1 by cosine x, close the bracket. Now here, the square squared this much up. Or you can just square it inside, you know. Now this which I squared inside is for 1 by cosine x the whole square so let me put the brackets properly it's better to understand by brackets see this much whatever is inside the bracket firstly cos x the whole square is just the secant square what i've written then that thing is again squared or you can just write to the power four because these powers exponents just multiply so that's okay close the bracket and uh, sorry i closed one extra bracket i believe yeah this is all correct now. This entire thing is squared. And uh, what is the mistake I'm doing? I have not put the limits. Now, you need to put the limits. Otherwise, you won't get the answer. It's 0 and pi. That is shift and the symbol here. Shift and the symbol divided by 4. I'm getting very clumsy. Okay, that's it. So that is the answer. Now, if I have not put in radian mode, shift mode, and let me put it back to degree mode. See the answer is different so shift mode and four to radian whenever your trigonometric functions the answer is 1.280 okay that's the thing what about this one this is not like you know uh, we don't have x it's not easy to derive so what do we do over here so we have to remember when you have zero x like this the derivative is just substituting the x what is the derivative of, uh, derivative of this function y dash or that is equal to f derivative of x will be equal to x sine x. That's it. That's the derivative of the function. Now integral 0 to pi. 
square root 1 plus x sine x the whole square dx that is the formula we are to use so all we use is a calculator and here let's use integral square root of 1 plus open the bracket x times sine x close the bracket and we need to close one more bracket because this is entirely a single term x sine x square it up and the limits are from 0 to pi shift and pi that's it now when i was doing this in class with my students they were finding math error many times because the brackets they were not either either not closing it or they were adding extra brackets so please remember be careful with the brackets so here we, here we go that's the answer so this is really very simple problem so here as well the first one you can do it directly even without writing anything it is 1 plus the derivative of x cube is 3x squared but remember use the bracket and square it up because if there are two terms both have to be squared so brackets will help us doing that properly minus 1 to 1 and here we go the answer has to be 3.09 similarly please do try the others see now this is the same thing same equation but only the limits vary so let's try the limits so here we go it's minus 2 to 2 and you can see the answer is 17.26 it will take time in your calculator because this is a computer simulation it is very quicker but the manual calculator takes time give it maybe 20 seconds 30 seconds and you will get the answer we have done this similarly you can try these by yourselves there's nothing much in this you need to derive it put it in the formula solve it up even over here it's the same thing now what happens over here it is one by x the whole square or you just square the x it's fine because when you square one it's one squared is one so what happens is here you you square it right you have to square this derive it your ln x is one by x so i write one by x dx and the limit is from 1 to 3 here we go the answer is 2.3019 or if you just use 1 by x squared because if you multiply the square up and down it'll be 1 by x squared that's fine same thing over here we did this problem let's even do this one what happens here is these are very straightforward you don't have to you don't even need to write anything because it's 1 plus Wherever, open the bracket and wherever you see you put x minus x then we have sine x close the bracket square it up and here we go it is 0 to x and just press equal to the answer okay now what did i do wrong it's not x i'm sorry i saw this one i'll put x um it's pi shift and pi and it's read in mode so it's fine that will be the answer 3.2029 that's rounded off to the fourth decimal that is the end of this question i hope it is clear if you have any doubts please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments i hope you all will head on to the next video